Welcome back to my Let's Play for Moimon, my Mono Water Run. Yeah, I know, I haven't updated Ruby Sapphire and Emerald in a while, but I honestly just didn't feel like doing them today. I figured I'd go back and catch up on um, Yellow and Leaf Green a little bit, and, you know, get another Moimon episode done. Try and do Ruby Sapphire and Emerald tomorrow if I can summon up the stomach for it, since it's going to be going over some old ground from the um, last Emerald run I did. Going to Slateport. Uh, at least I caught some of the Pokemon I'll need for what I'm trying to do there. Um, do a Tail Whip real quick. Then try and just tackle this thing. I hope it doesn't hit me with too many Sand Attacks. Because if I get blinded, I'm going to have to burn through a couple of um, potions here probably to win. Because let's face it, Pidgey's ability to blind me is going to really come in handy for his team since I don't have any counters for it. I can't switch on anybody because I don't have any other um, water Pokemon yet. So it's blinding is pretty much permanent. Until the fight's over with. A Pidgey missed? Damn. I mean, I know why Tommy's missing. It's because I only got, you know, one Pokemon and I got hit by two Sand Attacks. Gosh darn it. Take my chances. It missed again? Damn. That's one unlucky Pidgey. But no. It's pain's my gain, I guess. Okay. There we go. Got back 20 HP. Of course, that's probably going to be a mild help. Come on. <sighs> Two sand attacks and they're just screwing with me, man. I can't hit this Bulbasaur. Ugh, gosh darn it. Just want to lower his defenses a little, you know? So I can do more powerful tackle attacks on it. I didn't think those two sand attacks would screw me over this bad. Really didn't. These are pretty accurate moves, after all. <sighs> well, tackle. Well, no. Another potion, I suppose. Well, no. Assuming we don't get any critical hits, we should be able to last a while, I guess. Darn it. Another swing and a miss from Tommy. Keep throwing those attacks out like a machine gun, but I can't seem to hit anything. It's like I'm spraying and praying. And it's not going anywhere. <sighs> Come on, just one more. Come on, Tommy, you can do it. Don't make me have to whip out another healing item, please. <sighs> Haven't I had to use enough potions already? Ugh, gosh darn it. A third potion. Ugh. Man, if I just didn't have to deal with that Pidgey Sand Attacks. Come on, finish it. Thank you. Okay. Up to level 12. Well, we can get at least one free potion from hitting up that one tree, after all, so that's a plus. Yeah, yeah it is. After all, they all want to challenge the Elite Four and become legends, after all. So, of course, there's a lot of tough trainers there. There would have to be. Otherwise, there'd be no reason to go there, right? <sighs> okay, real quick diversion. So we can pick ourselves up a potion. Make up for all the ones we just had to use up there. Unfortunately, I can't cut it just yet, so we can't bypass that one old guy. <sighs> I hate listening to his lecture, man. I must explain to you how to catch Pokemon. You cannot leave until I do. <sighs> Coffee? Uh, not really. 
I know all that, thank you. Uh, South Park isn't going to say that even if you've caught Pokemon. You could have an entire team full of Pokemon, he'd still tell you how to catch them. Jeez. Just do it already. Okay, now. Is it going? And it's caught. Oh yeah, there's this one scene I heard about I want to check out. I heard it was like a secret in red and blue, so I'm curious if it still exists in the remake. Oh, come on. I don't need no singing Teachy TV. Uh, I guess we can go pick up a map, too, since I forgot to snag one of those. But being able to run would be a real benefit here, man. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get the Brock. It won't take too long to make our way down this way and then back up. But I really like to have a map for convenience sake. Okay. I know it's not a particularly useful item back in the day, but still. <sighs> yep. He didn't even think to give me a town map. I don't know why, he just did. You think that'd be something useful to have? Well, mildly useful to have. Okay. No, I guess it doesn't exist anymore. I heard in red and blue if you defeat your rival and you haven't caught any Pokemon yet, you can go talk to Professor Oak and he'll actually give you some Pokeballs or something like that. Which is kind of nifty. Though it's such a um, hard to find event, almost no one found it, because usually you don't double back to Pallet Town, you know, for any reason. There's pretty much no reason to go there unless you want to have a shortcut to Saffron City. Not Saffron, Cinnabar Island, jeez. Yeah. Going to Pallet Town is not going to help you get to Saffron, but. You can um, swim from there to get to Cinnabar without having to go through the um, Seafoam Islands. I mean, I guess means you're missing out on Articuno and stuff, but let's face it, unless you have a reason to go there, you're not going to want to go to the Seafoam Islands. Um, the only reason I'd go there is probably to hunt down like a seal or something. And even then, I'd probably do that off-screen, because I usually just avoid that area like the plague, because I can skip over it. There's no reason to record episodes there if I don't have to do it. Now let's see. Definitely not gonna want to go this way and just avoid some enemies, because again, none of them are gonna be my type. And they'll just wear me down for these battles of a head with the bug trainers. So many bug catchers, so little time, I swear. Well at least the forest is cool. But who knows, if we make up enough time, I might do it. That means avoiding as many trainers as possible in here. Which may not be easy. They are looking and they are waiting for you. But you can bypass at least some of them, which is a plus. So you don't have to deal with all their stinking Weedles and their freaking poison stings, man. Ooh. Got caught, finally. Oh my gosh, it's a Pikachu! Well, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Darn hiccups. Ooh, I didn't kill it on accident, though I don't think I have any Pokeballs. Darn it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn it! Hate the hiccups. <sighs> Not even sure what gave me the hiccups. <sighs> Sometimes they just randomly come and go, I guess. Man, I thought more of those bug trainers would have like, caught me on my way through here. Ooh, a Metapod. Oh, let's bubble it then. Attack of the Bubbles. Yeah, you can get hard all you want, Metapod. It won't save you from my bubbles. It won't, because it can't. Being rock solid does not protect you from water. But I wanted that 51 experience points, man. That's pretty good. Okay, so does that mean I only have to worry about that one trainer? 
Wow, you basically can skip everyone in this forest. Ooh, another potion. Taking that. Well, no. Why the rush? Because I want to get to Brock. I, f I figured I actually have to fight a couple bug trainers here, not just one. Well, this was a convenient path to take, I guess. Just bypass everybody. Well, let's bubble him up. Why that thing's not Kakuna, I don't know. <sighs> Gosh darn it. Man, yeah, that was a critical hit at just the wrong time. First of all, my life trying to heal up means I'm gonna get poisoned. Damn it! <sighs> okay, hopefully we can finish this thing off quickly. Because after this fight's over, I'm going to have to pull out the antidote. Because I don't want to die before I get to the next town. Because I get warped back to the Pokemon Center in Viridian City. Um, so, healing is a must. Or at least the antidote, so I don't die while taking steps. But I guess I do have 60 of them. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then a random encounter. Great. Um. Okay, I got away. Fine. Five. One, two, oh, it didn't count one of those. That's sweet. Um. How much health we got left? Six. Four. Pretty sure it gets the door is gonna require me um more than the steps that I have to get there, so yeah, I'm still gonna have to use it up. I was hoping I'd have just enough to sneak in, but no. Because it's four stats to get to her desk, after all. Gosh darn it. That just sucked. I was so close, but it was just so very far away, wasn't it? Well, at least we can deal with Brock, I guess, and get the running shoes. <sighs> I'm still looking forward to when we actually have some rods and can go out fishing. Because until then, I'm stuck with just a Squirtle. And the sad part is it's probably going to unbalance the run, too, because I'm going to end up jacking up my level so much on Squirtle, everything else is going to be useless. Sort of like um, the fire run in um, Ruby, how Blaziken is just so much more powerful than everything else, it just curb stamps all my enemies. I, I fear that might end up happening on this run, too. Oops, wrong move. Um. Well, we'll give a chance to Geodude to defend itself, I guess. Now I'll get back to our real attacks. Probably I should rearrange them, my move set so bubbles up top. Because I'm pretty much relying on it for the moment. I'm gonna hate it when we start getting to trainers that have grass Pokemon, though. <sighs> Um, yeah, let's see. Definitely gonna get rid of Bubble. Let's face it, the fact that you can lower your opponent's speed by just a small percentage chance doesn't really help you that much. I'd rather have Bubble Beam than just mere Bubble. First <sighs> back in the day, I think that was a TM, actually. Which is kind of weird when you think about it. And there we go. Ah, just a little bit more health left, huh? And yeah, I know, I really should turn these animations off. But I keep forgetting about it. Ugh. That's alright. It's not gonna slow you down too much tonight. We've just bypassed so many battles, it didn't really matter. Yeah, I know that. They even point out in that one Family Guy spin-off of Star Wars. Or parody. 
Yeah, I don't think that's the only thing that's rock hard right now, Brock. I know how you are. You're a master skirt chaser. Well, a master at following them, not catching them. Seriously, Brock gets shot down all the time in the anime. It gets sort of crazy. He always gets dragged off by his ear, too, usually. But I guess he's not like that in the games, is he? It's just an anime adaption to add a comedic character on the side. Or in the main cast, I suppose. Well, I'll probably kill off Geodude, to be honest. Yeah, I'm not surprised. That quadruple weakness really screws over Geodude here. Of course, it's going to screw over Onyx, too. Unless it's fast enough to get in a good hit. But I seriously doubt that. Oh, it missed with a bind attack. Well, at least it got an attack, I'll give it that. That's more than some get. Oh, yeah. Well, we definitely reached level 15, at least. A bit more, and we'll be a War Turtle. Yeah, an official Pokemon League badge. The Boulder Badge. At least it doesn't give you that sh crappy bite, bite attack in this generation. Seriously, screw bite. It's completely useless. Man, not entirely useless, but gosh darn, is it hard to do anything with it that's worthwhile. Yeah. I doubt I can use this, though. Yep. I I'd honestly be surprised if Scroll can learn Rock Tomb. I, mean, I guess I can double check, but I'm not really expecting it to be the case. Yeah, figures. I mean, it is a water type. Why on earth would it learn a rock move? <laughs> oh, I'm sure there's Pokemon that have unusual types that can learn moves that would surprise you, but. Yeah, I wasn't expecting Squirrel to be able to deal a rock tomb attack. It'd be nice, though. It'd give me something to throw up more of my few weaknesses. Electrical types. Um, good. You're here. Yeah, I got ourselves some running shoes. Now we can run everywhere. Which means we're going to be running pretty much all the time. Because it's so much faster. <sighs> That's nice. I just love having the additional speed, man. Because walking is just so slow. <laughs> Till next time, then. See ya.